Men can't believe that women are single by choice because men aren't single by choice. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are answering whether or not men that are single are single by choice. The reason why we are talking about this topic today is because I ran across a video of a little bit of an older woman that put a video out on her social media as to why she believes men are not single by choice and why women are. I want to hear from you guys, so please leave in the comments your answer. I am also going to put a poll question into my Instagram stories for the next 24 hours. So if you really wanna get in on it, please answer there and I will also post the poll results the next day. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, as a woman watching this video, it can seem pretty darn convincing if you didn't know what I know and what most men know. So without getting into it much further, let's watch the video. Men can't believe that women are single by choice because men aren't single by choice. There are a group of men that are done with dating. They're not trying to find a woman. They're, they are okay with being single. And we know this, we've heard from these men. She's refusing to believe that. I think that there are definitely healthy phases of life. If you have attempted time and time again, and you're really just looking out for your emotional and mental health, that you know a relationship is not the thing that's going to help you, then absolutely being self-aware to that degree and saying, I don't want to be in a relationship, it's very personal. Like people that are in that situation, many men that are in that situation, they don't put that out on others, right? They see that as they themselves don't think it's worth it. They don't have to blast it off to the world. Whereas a woman that's single like this, I think it's very obvious that she is projecting some form of hurt. They may be finding women to go on dates with, but nothing's sticking. Now for men that are finding women to go on dates with, I would argue that there's obviously a large enough group of women that are trying to date. Therefore, they are not happy being single, right? So there, we're going to see both groups, right? We are going to see women and men that don't want any part of the dating world anymore versus men and women that are currently single, but they want to find their match. And so they're lashing out at women saying things like, have fun being single or enjoy your cats. Men say these things like have fun staying single or enjoy your cats to women that are putting out things or behaving in ways in which they are not willing to hold themselves accountable to, that are not willing to look at the mirror. I see it all the time in which women just refuse to see themselves as contributing to any amount of relationship problem or problems in the dating world, problems in their own dating lives. So men say that because it's more so that they're frustrated that women are unwilling to look at themselves and hold themselves accountable. Sir, that's the whole point, is that I am having fun being single and I love my cats. And I also love my peace of mind, not having to be accountable to somebody who isn't really that interested. Okay, yeah. wow, I um, didn't even know that she used the word accountable in this video and I was just talking about accountability. She literally said she doesn't want somebody to hold her accountable. So I think that's exactly what's going on. And of course, look, being in a relationship is not easy. Like you don't just get to do whatever you want and fill your own needs because you have somebody else that you're also supposed to be considering. So you as a woman, you are going to make sacrifices in a relationship. So absolutely, she's right in that if she is single, she's not having to do that. He's not interested in me and my life and things that I want and need out of life. He's interested in his own feelings of being alone and being single. This is where the projection is coming from, I believe. It's that she's had some bad relationships in which she was not considered or did not feel considered and that she felt like, you know, things were just being taken from her. And why can't women just do what he needs them to do? As men age alone, it is not good. Ask any hospice nurse or nursing home nurse or even hospital nurses. I would argue that whether you're a man or a woman, as you're aging alone, that is not a good thing. No one's visiting. 
And they're, the men are not okay. Pause on that thought. I'm going to come back to the whole idea of men not getting visited in nursing homes because there is more to it. There are actually many, many married men, many men in relationships, many men that have children, have families that are not visited in the nursing home. So pause on that thought. We're going to come back to it. But I'm finding that as I age, I am getting happier and happier with myself and my girlfriends and my family. Until you have a health crisis, right? Like as a woman, if you are healthy and yes, you're thriving, you're being social, of course, like that's going to be the height of your ability to make an impact in the world and to have a social life. But it will change, you know, once you have to actually rely more consistently on somebody else. And the idea of having to accommodate a man's insecurities or even securities is just less and less appealing. Again, I mean, that's fine for her individually to be self-aware that she doesn't want to really give anything. So it's kind of saving a man out there, you know, that could potentially actually fall for her and then be giving, giving, giving everything to her without her giving anything back. Yes, it's way better that she's self-aware and that she's saying she doesn't want to give anything to a man because then men can hear that and then they are not going to be interested because they've, they've played that game before. They've played the game at which they are the ones that are just giving, giving, giving everything and they don't receive anything back. I think that for a lot of women, once they get to an older age like this, I think what also happens is that she potentially was really used to how things ran when she was 20 something and maybe even into her 30s, possibly even in, into her 40s. I think that they get a little confused later in life and it's hard for them later in life to make that transition to having to be the one that also gives some amount of effort because they're not in their prime anymore. Us ladies are getting together. We're growing our friendships. We're doing things. And we're finding that we're happier than we've ever been. And men can absolutely not understand that. They want to be able to do less and less and know that there's a woman there to drive them to the hospital or organize their medications or just sit around and do whatever it is that they want to do and take up time and space in her life and accommodate him. And I would dare say, especially the men that are just doing a bunch of dating and saying that they're having a great time and nothing is sticking for them. The men that I know that are dating a bunch are looking for a permanent woman. They're not really happy with that lifestyle. Again, I don't think there's any shame in being a single man that is looking to get into a relationship. And so you're dating, you're trying to find that, that person. And again, it takes two people to make it stick. It's not just a him problem. He's looking for that woman that can not only be a romantic partner, but honestly be a friend and be the person that he wants to spend time with because he's going to have a lot more time later in life into retirement, into the time that he's been working for his entire life. Like he doesn't want to waste time with the wrong kind of woman. So he is probably going to be more particular. Of course, they have to pretend, you know, like that that's the dream. But they're looking for the ride or die until they're 80 and they know that that person's going to be there to help them change their diapers. It's terrifying to them. It's not about that. It's, it's not about that for men. Men also just want somebody to spend time with. Men want that emotional bond. Women that are saying things like this, they don't understand men. They don't get that. They're human, they have human emotions, and they do want very similar things to many women. Uh, me and my girlies and my family, we know that we'll show up for each other because there's no expectation that we're gonna change or that there's anything wrong with us. We're just doing what we wanna do and enjoying each other's time and space. No one needs to change. But men get their hands on a woman that looks like she might stick around and immediately he's got a list of things that he's gonna need from her, need. Again, I think that this is a sign of projection, you know, that this is the type of relationship that she individually has been through in the past. So I say the same thing back to those men. Have fun being single. I happen to love it. There are some similarities between the group of women that are single by choice and the group of men that are single by choice in that they will oftentimes kind of blame each other, right? They'll say that there's no good women or they'll say that there's no good men. 
and that men do this, or they'll say, well, women are doing this. So there's sort of this, you know, never ending fight. But the biggest difference that I see between women that are single by choice and men that are single by choice is that women that are looking at the group of men that are single by choice refuse to believe that they're single by choice. They will look at them and say, no, you aren't. Like, no, you're wanting to be with women, but women just don't want you. So that's why you're single. Whereas men that are single by choice will look at the group of women that are single by choice and they'll not really care. They won't care. They'll say, okay. You know why? Because men don't want to be in relationships with women that don't want to be in relationships. It's just like how men want to be with somebody that wants to be with them. That's one of their top number one things. Women's brains, they don't work that way. They are okay with desiring a man that doesn't necessarily want her the most. It's really messed up, I know, but I think that's what we're seeing between these two groups. And that's why we end up seeing content like this where women are just refusing to be accountable, refusing to look at themselves in the mirror, and they blame men for being single. And even if you still don't believe that, I want to talk about some of the comments that were in this video. Absolutely disturbing. And it's highlighting the part of the video in which she was talking about how men are not visited in nursing homes. This comment right here. This is a nurse at a skilled nursing facility. She can confirm nobody is visiting men. Maybe one or two wives. But some are married and the wives don't visit. I didn't even know some of them were married. The creator of the video commented underneath this. Those wives are hopefully at bingo and book club and karaoke. They did their time. I'm sorry, but you have to have so much baseline hatred for a person to think that that's an okay thing. To think that because men are not being visited, or let's just say because a man is not being visited in the nursing home, that it was because of him and his behavior. Because I think that's a wild assumption. I think that we could also assume that his wife is a terrible person. And I think that we could assume that it is her. I think we could also assume that it's the combination of their relationship, which has turned out that way. Uh, but I also believe individually, myself, bottom line, that that is extremely sad for that man. Extremely sad. He's the one that is in the weaker position. He's the one that doesn't have the freedom physically, emotionally, probably, um, mentally, most likely, that he's the one that's stuck somewhere because of his health. And for there to be a total lack of empathy in the comments and by this creator, I think it just demonstrates. It demonstrates where this type of content is coming from. And I think that it's, it's a very dangerous thing for obviously women to follow. But then I also think that it's a very dangerous thing for men to listen to because it's really disheartening for men that might especially be of similar age, honestly, any age, even if you're in your 20s and you run into content like this on your feed, uh, that is disheartening, all right? It's disheartening that this is how an older woman could see men that has, obviously, she's been in relationships with men and she thinks it's okay for a man to be basically abandoned as he's aging and he can't provide the things that he was providing at one time. Because to me, that's probably more likely what's going on, right? This, this is a man that spent maybe his entire life working, providing. He can't do it anymore. Now he's the one. He's the one that needs the help. Uh, she's not okay returning that favor. And that's, that's just sad. What I will say is that the comments under her comment give a little bit more hope, right? Not all people suffer bad marriages. Very true. I know that most people, most people I know and all the people <laughs> within my extended family, honestly, they would be with their loved one until the final breath.
And then somebody else underneath just said, this is so mean, OMG, what? Because we know. We know that that's outrageous. It's completely selfish. And I understand that there's phases in life in which you can be in that selfish stage. Let it be a stage. Please don't get stuck there. Move on. Improve yourself. But hey, if you can't, then absolutely don't pull anyone else into it and be single and enjoy your cats. If you guys are as excited for this episode as I am, if you're not subscribed, please remember to subscribe and like the video. Guys, that is it for today. One final thing, I want to give a huge, huge, huge thanks to you guys. I just hit 500K followers just a couple days ago and it is super exciting. I think that we are on our way to making a million. I think we could make it this year, guys. I love forming this community of like-minded people and I'm just super excited for what the future holds, guys. As always, I will see you next week.